when you get in that zone, it's just a supreme confidence that you know it's going in. It's not a matter of if or this, that. It's going in. Things just slow down. You know, everything slows down. You're, you're, you just have supreme confidence. But when that happens, you know, you really do not try to focus on what's going on because out, you, know, you know, you can lose it in a second. Everything becomes one noise. You know, it's not. You don't hear this or that. Everything's just one noise, and you're not paying attention to one or the other. You just, you just stand right there. You have to really try to stay in the present, not, you know, not let anything break that rhythm. And again, it's on. You just kind of stay there. You, know, you don't become oblivious to everything that's going on. You know, you don't, you don't think about your surroundings or you know, what's going on with the crowd or the team think about the surroundings or you know what's going on with the crowd or the team you know you're kind of you kind of locked in and uh so i don't know you, know, you have to really try to stay in the present not you know not let anything break that rhythm There's a mystical element to the zone. There's a knowing in the zone. It's a movement from hoping the ball will go in, hoping you'll play well, to knowing it's going in, to knowing you'll play well. The zone is a place Kobe Bryant lived. And I want you to live there too. When you're in the zone, things move in slow motion. Why do they move in slow motion? Because your subconscious is so fast. It recognizes patterns quicker than the conscious mind can. And as it does so, the game feels like it's slowing down. It's a beautiful state to be when you surrender and let the conscious mind go silent. And as Kobe says, you enter the present moment. And in the present moment, the subconscious takes control. Your subconscious has an amazing inventory of data, of images, of patterns. It not only has access to every pickup game you've ever played in, but every game you've ever watched. As you drive to the hole, your subconscious mind, when you're in the zone, knows where every player is and is already recognizing patterns in the defense. The subconscious mind knows what the defense is gonna do, what your defender's going to do, and that's why it feels like you can play them like a violin. The subconscious mind is so fast and so good at pattern recognition, the more you can find that present moment, the more you're going to unleash its powers. What you have to do is you fill the subconscious mind with reps, both mental and physical. You fill it with watching footage. You fill it with pickup games. It has access to all of that, can process all that information almost instantaneously. And because it's so fast to the conscious mind, the game slows down. It's like you can see ahead as well. You can see around corners because the subconscious mind is giving you information about patterns. So you have this incredible anticipation. The supreme confidence comes from the fact that the subconscious mind is in control. And the subconscious mind, when it's in control, your coordination goes off the charts. Your ability to concentrate goes off the charts. You can lock right onto the center of the hoop. You'll have more swishes. When you are off just a little bit, it's only gonna be by a little bit and you're gonna get more rolls. When you're in the zone, you get lucky bounces, but they're not lucky, you're just more precise. As Kobe says, you don't really get involved in the process. You stay in the present and you let the subconscious go through you. You ride the wave of the zone and you become oblivious to the fans, to the other team. You're just one with the game. And when you're in that space, you don't do anything to mess it up. You just stay in that space and you ride the wave. You're locked in. I love the idea that you're oblivious to what other people are thinking about you in the moment, what the fans are doing. You're just in that present moment. I'll end with this story I found a long time ago in a book and I wrote it down. It's a beautiful story and it shows you what can happen when you free your mind from the thoughts of others. 
which for a lot of players is a thing that keeps them out of the zone. And if we can say something about Kobe, it's obvious he didn't care what other people thought. He was oblivious to their opinions about him. It's a Japanese cone. It's called the First Principle. When one goes to the temple in Kyoto, he sees carved above the gate the words, The First Principle. The letters are unusually large, and those who appreciate calligraphy always admire them as being a masterpiece. They were drawn by Kosin 200 years ago. When the master drew them, he did so on paper, from which the workmen made the large carving in wood. As Kosin sketched the letters, a bold pupil was with him, who made him several gallons of ink for the calligraphy, and who never failed to criticize his master's work. That is not good. The pupil told Kosin after his first effort. How is this one? Poor, worse than before, pronounced the pupil. Kosin patiently wrote one sheet after another until 84 first principles he had drawn, still without the approval of the pupil. Then when the young man stepped outside for a few moments, Kosin thought, now this is my chance to escape his keen eye. And he wrote hurriedly, with a mind free from distraction, the words, the first principle. When the pupil returned into the room and looked at the calligraphy, he said, a masterpiece. You see, Kosin no longer cared what the people around him were thinking, and it allowed him to get into the zone, into the present moment. He let his subconscious come forth, and his conscious mind went silent, and he produced a masterpiece. The more you can do that, the more often you're going to visit the zone.